Hey, it's new at 11. Crime tape surrounds Heat nightclub in Huber Heights, the scene of a deadly shooting. Police Chief Rob Schomer tells us that around 2.30 this morning, a fight broke out inside the club, but then moved into the parking lot. That's when multiple shots were fired, shattering the front door of a nearby business and leaving bullet holes in cars. When the gun smoke settled, three people, including 25-year-old Charles Bell III, had been shot. Bell was pronounced dead at the scene. Another victim is now in critical condition. The chief says because of the large crowd, officers from all over Montgomery County were called to help. It is a dangerous situation for the officers to go into and to make sure that they are able to maintain the security of everybody else there as well as the crime scene, uh, the more help the merrier. The chief tells us he doesn't know how many shots were fired or how many shooters there were, but this isn't the first time police have been called to heat. It's been a battle, um, uh, you know, for the last year at least, and uh, yes, we have had some, some issues and uh, we've attempted to resolve them and uh, we hope that we can continue to keep it as safe uh, as we can. I spoke with the city's attorney Mike Bly last December as Huber Heights was fighting to revoke the nightclub's liquor license. It's been everything from shootings to assaults on police officers to noise complaints. It's really had an impact on the, uh, a substantial impact on the neighborhood as a whole. Despite the city's efforts in April, the Franklin County Court of Common Pleas upheld a decision by the Ohio Liquor Control Commission, which ruled in favor of the nightclub's liquor license renewal. Somebody is dumb enough to give them their license back, you got to expect something like this. Dennis Kleiner lives nearby and tells us he's not surprised, just sad and disappointed a violent crime like this happened in his community. And there's only one thing Kleiner thinks can stop it from happening again. I like to see it shut down. I really would. I think we'd get rid of all the problems we have out here because they're the only ones causing problems. I called Heat Nightclub today looking for answers but have not heard back. However, this statement was posted on the nightclub's Facebook in response to the shootings. Quote, for those who are asking, yes, there were some unfortunate events that occurred at Heat last night, but it was not teen-related whatsoever. There has not been a teen party at Heat since April 12th. We have all those involved in the unfortunate events in our prayers, end quote.